BNT VP9. Small package of efficiency. Look at this. Look at this size. hello youtube welcome back i'm easy b thanks for watching easy b tactical if you haven't already subscribe join the channel share the video and if you love it give us a thumbs up uh give us a like so i posted a short video a couple uh, a week ago or so on the bnt vp9 also known as the station six so today i'm going to talk a little more about that pistol this time last month, I was in Switzerland. I went to Thun, Switzerland, where I visited BNT, the headquarters of Brugger and Tome, which are located in Thun. I had the pleasure to meet the CEO and spend some time with him. More stories to that. I will have a video about my tour at the factory, the workshop, the headquarters, and some of the. Although I won't show footage of him, him, but we had some good conversation. He had great stories. I was very honored and humble to be able to visit the facility which is not open to the public anyway while i was there one of the pistols i've been having i had my eyes on is the bnt known in the u.s as the station six and i will tell a little bit of history about why that station six name comes up although i'm not an historian i'm sure forgotten weapon ians can tell us much more about that one but i did do a little bit of research for this for station six so you will if you watch my short video i refer to the bnt vp9 and i'm gonna roll footage that i filmed while i was there a month ago you will hear me say vp9 vp9 is the station six however the swiss for legal reason and for introduction of the introduction of the pistol there it's known as a vp9 which is a veterinary pistol in nine millimeter veterinary pistol so to make it acceptable and modernized and legally allowed this pistol was designed for law enforcement or veterinary to be able to uh, do animal control in a public setting without offending or fiscating or traumatizing young kids or the public so that was the legal definition and reason for that pistol but in in his heritage and his, historically speaking the vp9 is a modern version of what some of you make have commented on the actually one person commented on a short video a well rod pistol for those who know and i'm not a historian so i will just bear with me if i have some of the facts wrong bear with me but back in world war ii the british drove a program that was uh, called SOE Special Ops Executive Program. The goal of the program to summarize is was to enable civilian and resistance group in having firearms or weapons to fight the resistance. So some of those weapons were used by the British and Americans in occupied Europe. One of the offices of the SOE Special Operation Executive Groups was in bridal hall in a country house in some suburb of england which uh, the name escaped me but it was called bride hall which is was was in Hertfordshire, england the location of that office that was tasked with gathering and conventional weapons was called station six they also had station nine twelve and maybe some other station i forgot about so the well rod was developed and designed in station nine, but probably issued and delivered or gathered through station six. So hence the name well rod or also known as station six. It was supposed to be a quiet silenced pistol for assassination, elimination in public. 
Again, I'm trying to summarize the historical fact, but also use my own words in the reason for why that weapon was developed. Switching back to the present, BNT saw a need for the local enforcement, law, local law enforcement in Switzerland, really to be able to, as I mentioned earlier, properly do animal control and properly execute service to the animal population or for some hunters or farmers who actually needed to, um, what's the better term, to, I forgot the term, but terminate an animal who is suffering without being overly loud or without being causing more trauma to people around. So the VP9 veterinary, veterinary pistol in 9mm was designed, inspired by the railroad, for that specific reason, mostly animal control by a local law enforcement group or hunters or farmers. So it's really what the modern pistol is about, right? But it has a heritage and historical heritage to the, and simil very similarity to the railroad, which is strictly speaking, a bolt action pistol. It's a single shot pistol. The VP9 is a single shot pistol that you load with, uh, I believe, a five-round magazine. You load it, and I'll show a video where I'm, I'm, I'm showing you how to operate. Although I don't have one yet, they are coming to the U.S. There are orders that have in place. I don't think, I don't know anyone who has received one in person. I did have the pleasure to operate and use one while I was there. I did not shoot it, unfortunately, but I played with one while I was there for a few hours. So that was great. I wish I could have brought it back with me. On the channel, I'm here at BNT in Switzerland, Thun, Switzerland. I have in my hand a VP9, amazing piece. I wish I had one on in the States, but that will be coming soon. Anyway, I wanted to show you real quick what this baby looks like in person. So it's a left threaded, if I remember. So. VP9, 9mm round with a magazine that was designed for covert operations and very easily concealable and very quiet. So we will see. So you have a 9mm round, detachable round. You have a left threaded suppressor that is very light and quiet. So how does this thing work? And the owner just showed me a little bit. So right now it's in the far position. You just press it pull it down, eject the span cast casing, push it back, twist it, go back to action. So very cool, looks weird, very cool to operate, sights, just standard basic sights, but just good enough to do the job and you could discreetly use this in a crowd environment. Or again, this is for operational tactical use, we're not talking about civilian, right? So press it, Pull it. He did it earlier. It looks really cool. I just like this action. BNT VP9. Swiss made. Very cool. VP9 is, in, and is interesting in the fact that just like the well rod, the whole idea was designing a, a pistol silenced to a, the lowest level possible. So as far as I know, based on BNT claim, the VP9 is the world's most quiet 9mm suppressed pistol for animal control. Again, that's the real purpose of that gun, right? It's not for elimination or assassination. Although, based on stories that I've heard, that has been used by certain elite forces in Europe for a purpose that was similar to what was done in World War II. So anyway, it's so quiet. It's supposed to be below 125 decibel. I did not shoot one personally. Again, I didn't measure the sound level, but I can't wait to have one in my hand to shoot and see how it compare. I was definitely impressed by how it felt, how it came apart, how much of a tight package it is. And I hope you kind of gain a little bit something out of this video. If you want to support the channel, Join me on, uh, support me to Patreon. I'm, I, I, had, I had created Patreon. I'm relaunching it. So the link will be in the comments of this video, the description of the video. Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, which are also linked through this video and in the details below the, the description of the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.
and i'm gonna try to post the video every other week now i've been doing every friday but perhaps every other friday now but i may be taking a break for this holiday season last thing i want to say is in the news i've seen a lot of violence about you know people shooting each, each other especially the, the one in lubbock texas my personal thoughts is if you can they ask de-escalate the situation don't escalate it and if you see someone comes out with a farm just leave do what you need to stay alive and take care of your loved ones hopefully you all enjoy the holidays and you stay safe thanks for watching subscribe if you want to support me on patreon please do so i go to switzerland i went there on my own dime and i had a great time but i was able to film and share with you what i brought Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. If you are into Sweets Firearm and BNT, I will have a video footage of my tour of the facility once I put it together, probably coming up during, during this holiday or as soon as I have a moment to do so. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time.